As discussed in the previous video in this series, the ePortfolio gives you the opportunity to collect your work, reflect on it, share it with program faculty, and develop your knowledge and practices. The DTL ePortfolio has an area called My Items that contains artifacts, collections, reflections, and presentations. In this video, we will detail the items within this area, as well as give a brief overview of the Explore, sharing groups, and import-export areas of the D2L ePortfolio. Artifacts are items that demonstrate your learning goals or accomplishments. Artifacts can be Word documents, photographs, PowerPoint presentations, video clips, PDFs, or any other types of files. It is important to note that in order to insert an artifact into your ePortfolio, you must first upload it into the My Items area. Collections serve as a way to organize the artifacts in your portfolio. For example, you might have a collection for Standard 4. All artifacts pertaining to your learning of Standard 4 would go into this collection. Reflections are a way for you to record your thoughts and later make them a part of your ePortfolio. You can reflect on specific artifacts or you can create independent reflections that aren't associated with other items in your portfolio. You can also display reflections inside a presentation, just like any other item in your ePortfolio. You can also write your reflection on a Word document and copy and paste it directly into your ePortfolio. Your presentation is your ePortfolio. Essentially, this component enables you to showcase your learning by selecting artifacts and reflections to display on a web page. Your program will provide a template that can serve as a starting place on which you build your presentation. However, you can customize the layout you want and the theme that best reflects your personality. The left-hand menu also contains several other areas that we should briefly mention. Explore lets you view the items that have been shared with you. Sharing groups is just that. It allows you to create specific groups with which to share items or your entire ePortfolio. Finally, the most common use of the import-export component is to export your ePortfolio into a zip file. In the next video, we will go through the steps to building an ePortfolio in D2L, how to add artifacts, assemble collections, write reflections, and create a presentation.